guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel, my name is Frank. Today we're going to be going over something that seems really clickbaitable and there seems to be a lot of controversy over just misinformation. PLA smoothing. This is post-processing after you get your print off the bed and hopefully today I can show you a little technique that I've found and you know, just kind of cross-utilized from another hobby into getting smooth PLA prints. This won't work for really tiny recesses and small details that you're still going to probably have to use sandpaper for, but hopefully this process will teach you how to smooth very large areas so you can take something like this, like a fresh raw print helmet, and get something like this that actually shines and is smooth. There's no Bondo or body filler or wood filler anywhere on this. This is all sanded and painted, and as you can see, I got it pretty smooth that I'm happy with. I've got a lot of questions on how, how long did that take to sand, especially for the whole suit. Oh my God, you must have you know gone mad sanding, and I didn't. I've only spent a couple hours sanding the entire suit. Sanding this probably took five to 10 minutes tops. So let's go hop into the garage. I'll bring the uh, the fresh helmet and we'll get started. So guys, what's the secret? Um, this is a $20 Black & Decker palm sander. You can get it at Home Depot, Walmart. It doesn't need to be Black & Decker, it could be anything. And I have 80 grit sandpaper on it. Now you'll see a lot of people say, don't use palm sanders on PLA. You'll overheat it, you'll burn it, you'll melt it. And that's very true. So I have a scrap piece of PLA from a bad project that actually has pretty bad letter lines. And I'm gonna show you what it happens if you start to sit in one spot too long or you're not careful what it looks like when you start to burn and when you wanna back off. If you start to burn it, um, there are ways to fix it and kind of stop. It's not the end of the world, but you need to be able to look for the signs if the PLA starts to melt. And then we'll jump into the helmet and we'll start sanding that. That's it, so let's get started. So as anything with uh, anything electric or you know motorized, make sure you're wearing you know your handy dandy safety glasses because you don't want anything bad to happen to your eyes. So turn on your palm sander and just, just sit on the part. Um, always practice, try this with a scrap piece first. You can actually see the low poly count on this model. It was for a uh, another Iron Man suit that I kind of ditched the project on because wasn't a fan of it. Anyway, so let's get started. Get your palm sander, be in a uh, nice, safe environment, have your glasses on. So anytime I start this palm sander up, there's probably gonna be a little bit of a time skip or a uh, time jump because it's just loud. But right here, you can already start to see it revealing a layer line. I probably couldn't even see to begin with right there, but it's already smooth. So if I wanna keep cutting down that layer line, don't sit in the same spot. You're gonna to wanna to move around and start smoothing it out. Uh-oh, it looks like I started to burn a spot. So if you look right here, it's kind of actually still a little soft. You'll be able to see that that's actually um, a spot I was sanding that was starting to get too hot and start to melt and burn a little bit. It'll start to get a little bit darker than the rest of the material, depending, and this varies on what color you're using, but this black reveals itself very easily when you start to sit in a spot too long. So just be careful, look for that kind of burning look and move around the print. As you can see up here, all the layer lines are pretty much almost gone and however much time you want to take with this is the results you'll get so that's a good little scrap piece i know this works so this is with 80 grit but if you actually run my finger over it and feel it it's still a little rough so what i'll do is after i touch up this i'll go and grab something like 200 grit sandpaper and just real quick knock it down that's it and then this is ready for priming so let's move on to the helmet isn't she a beaut? So like I said, I haven't done any sanding on this yet. It's fresh off the printer. Now I'm not gonna sit here and tell you how to um, put in all your settings, how to get smooth prints. That's something you're gonna have, there's too many tutorials on that and this is not one of them. So dial in your print settings, but they don't even need to be this smooth to get good um, sanding results. I left my Z seam here. I don't really care where that ends up. I think I have it on random. Um, the edges, you wanna clean them up a little bit with a file. I cleaned up the eyes because obviously the palm sander can't get in there, but this is ready to sand. So I'm gonna do half the mask and show you the results. So. so that's half the mask done. Kind of looks like Deathstroke actually. I wanna see what that looks like in the mask. Not bad. So it's still a little rough. I couldn't get into the really small spots, but like I said, Grab some like 200 grit, really thin sandpaper. This is 180. You'll be able to feel it. You'll feel little bits raised up and just touch them down. You'll see actually the color change too. This lets you know that you're still sanding the right spot. This is still a little bit darker. And as I sand, it gets a little bit lighter. All I'm doing is kind of knocking down the little areas that got raised up while I was sanding. And this would be a good time to go and make sure you touch in the little, little areas you couldn't reach. I wish you guys could feel what this feels like right now. Um, might be able to hear a little bit of scratching. And if you can differentiate what that is, 
that's my fin my fingernail grabbing all the little layer lines. And this is a sm pretty smooth print and I still have a little bit. As you can see, my Z seam kind of just completely disappeared. And this half of the mask is ready for priming. And if you prime this versus this, you'll the layer lines you'll start to see in this one. This one you shouldn't see any. Now, like I said, however much time you take with this is are the results you're going to get. Spend time in this process. Uh, I, I've gotten pretty good with the sander. You can try different grits. I think I have a, a 60 and a 40 grit over there. They're a little harsh. I found that this 80 grit is pretty perfect. And as you can see, just also be careful near um, the edges. So what you'll get is you'll, you'll, if you sit on an edge too long, it'll start to kind of melt over and lose that little bit of definition. Be careful there. It's very, very easily remedied by just running some sandpaper back over it and it'll smooth that whole edge back out. So just you know, practice, 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 practice. It'll make this a lot easier. And if you start getting it down, it'll save you so much time on the back end. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do the rest of the mask and then I'm gonna do the rest of the helmet and we'll see what it looks like. So that's it guys this is the fully sanded helmet i think it came out great um so i haven't glued anything together yet because i'm still going to go back and touch up some of the lines that just got messed up in the printing process make sure they're deeper and kind of uh, um, thicker more prominent lines so when it's painted and everything gets built up uh, you'll be able to see them much better one thing i didn't really talk about in the beginning was where your supports are so on this back of this helmet to save time I don't print helmets straight up like this. I'll print them and to, um, I'll orient them for the least amount of material and the best time. So what I did for the back skull was I stood it up. Now what that did is it left just a little bit of uh, chunks missing when I removed the supports, which I'm fine with. Um, so go get yourself something like this, little simple wood filler, and you'll be able to touch in these little lines. A lot of this will disappear once I uh, prime it, but there's just like one or two very deep recesses I wasn't able to sand out throw some wood filler over this and smooth it out. Depending on how you orient your prints, you might not need to do this at all. The helmet I showed you in the beginning of the video, I oriented it another way. I didn't, there was no marks or issues like this. All this was actually inside the skull cap and I didn't even need to touch it up. But for this one, I'm gonna need to throw just a little bit of wood filler back here. It dries quick, sands super easy and it paints great. But aside from that, this thing's all ready to be glued together. And uh, that'll be a separate video on how I bond and fuse PLA so good. And then we'll move on to painting and everything else. So that's this mask done, ready to go. If you have any comments, questions, concerns about anything you saw, um, you want to know why I did this or didn't do that, or maybe you have a better suggestion on how to smooth things out even quicker, let me know. Um, follow, message me on Instagram. It's easier to talk. And uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>